Well, this is basically a video to show all my lizards. I only have two tanks, but it's all I have now. Just started. And this is me. Yep. And then, as you can see, my tiger whip tail on my head. And then this is the tiger whip tail's cage. This is the tiger whip tail's cage. Got mealworms right there. Water bowl, water dish right there. Got a UVB light. And got a 60 watt light here. There's a baby desert spiny lizard. And there's a bigger desert spiny lizard. Got a water bowl. Water bowl right there. You know, got wood chips. Wood chips mixed with sand in there. And everything. Yep. And then I have a basic, basic log, a basic huge log in my tank right there. And then they just sleep under that. And then they have a 60 watt light right there. See, look, he's getting scared. Look, he's pretty fast. Got a cactus right there because, you know, desert spiny lizards, desert spiny lizards, they can climb on cactuses, you know, without getting stabbed. And there's sticks everywhere and everything so they can climb on a basking stick right there. And then over here, I have some desert banded geckos. All just to let you know, all these lizards are caught, not bought. So, so I don't know where you could buy them from or anything, but just, just you could try and search them up. And you know, I got some plants and everything. I like. You know, I'm just in my garage. Got all my supplies and stuff right there. All right, now I'm gonna show you the desert bandy geckos. Well, I can set you down right here. You go see what he's doing. All right, there they are. Let me see if I can get a light on them. See, there's one right there, one right here, another one right there. This one got his tail, actually got his tail cut off when I was trying to catch it. And it hasn't grown back. And, you know, I've been feeding them mirrors, you know, got a basic setup, because I just got them like a couple days ago. You know, and then, you know, my desk, this is my dad's computer desk. He used to have his computer and stuff there, but he moved that and let me put the lizards there and stuff. But here's, here they are right there, you know, just nice. Keep trying to go inside the hide. This one, his, this one right here name is his name is Spots, and the one with the tail is Dots, and the one without the tail is, that's Dots, that's Spots. Yeah, so, I'm gonna go in and put them back. We'll sit there and let them right there. Alright, for my, my lizard I always loved, and I would, I would hate to lose, it's right there, my tiger whip tail. You know, his name is Rambo. Pretty fast. He's been sitting on my head through this whole video, you know. That's how much I care about him. Yep. Well, that's him. Oh, and his name is Rambo. And he'll sit right there. You know. My biggest lizard right there is Dex. And then my little red desert spiny lizard over there. You can see him from right there. Let's see if he could get a better shot of him. You see him right there? She's hiding. So she and he, so once she gets bigger, she'll be able to mate with him. But I'm looking for some mate, some breeders right now. Haven't found any. She's trying to crawl away. I'm gonna put him in there with the, the, the desert spider lizards. He can just chill. Yeah, so 
basic setup, tropical, good grass growing in there, water that every day, log, water in every water dish, and everything, water dish, mealworms, another thing of mealworms right there from Petco, yeah, but basically my question is, my question is, is if you know where any desert spider breeders are, or, or, or there's a spiny lizard that would really help me. This is a basic video of my lizard room. The basically lizard collection. And this is this is Lizard Boy 417 saying goodbye.